NASA's Orion spacecraft moved out of the launch abort system facility at Kennedy Space Center in the evening of November 11 for its trip to Space Launch Complex 37 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Traveling at about five miles per hour, the spacecraft made the trek from Kennedy's industrial area, traveled past the vehicle assembly building, and continued past Launch Pad 39B on the way to its ultimate destination. About six hours later, early in the morning of November 12, Orion arrived at the launch complex. Later that morning, the Orion spacecraft was hoisted at the pad for stacking on the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket in preparation for its upcoming flight test on December 4. The flight test will send Orion 3,600 miles in altitude from Earth on a two-orbit flight intended to ensure the spacecraft's critical systems are ready for the challenges of deep space missions. During the four and a half hour flight, Orion will travel farther than any spacecraft built for humans has been in more than 40 years before returning to Earth at speeds near 20,000 miles per hour and generating temperatures up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. After Orion splashes down in the Pacific Ocean, NASA and the U.S. Navy will recover the crew module and attempt to retrieve the parachutes and forward bay cover. Orion is now at the launch pad, awaiting its historic flight test in December.